fostering a community that you want to be diverse, especially when you want to keep it positive, it's really important for you to have very clear rules and make sure that you're building, uh, especially your social media platforms with those in mind. Uh, that way, when people express themselves, they know exactly what's allowed, what isn't allowed, um, you know, how they can also share their uh, thoughts in ways that are constructive. And uh, hopefully, hopefully those structures and those kind of boundaries allow for that communication. When you're working in the games industry, there's going to be a lot of times that you're doing betas and things like that, testing, or you've had a launched game, and players have a lot of thoughts on that. Sometimes they're not always the most positive thoughts, but they're still really valid and important, especially to your QA team. So it's really good to allow them space to have those feelings and understand that that's not personal, but at the same time, uh, they have to stay within the boundaries of not being attacking or not uh, making specific comments about your team, but just being constructive about the particular uh, area that they want to give you feedback on. Yeah, it's my first year here. So for me, it was just um, a lot of times I'll go to fan shows and there's a certain group of people that you kind of run into over and over. It's a very small industry. Uh, it was really great to meet people um, from other disciplines like QA, localization, that I wouldn't probably run into being part of the community track. So for me, it was just more uh, getting to know different people and kind of learning more about what they do. Describe it in three words or less. That's a hard question. Um, I would say education. Uh, fun, and then uh, collaboration. 